Fantasy football has arrived, and truly, it's for everyone in the family. Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson, and we'll all be picking our teams over the next couple days. And it's really exciting, whether you know a lot about football or not, but it gets everyone on board for game day, and it makes it that much more enjoyable. Well, Melanie Collins joins us right now. And Melanie, how do us guys even prepare for the thought that a woman might beat us this year? You know what, Con? I would say the best thing you can do is just take it. <laughs> That's the best thing you can do. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. That's the great thing about fantasy football is anybody can win it. Men, women, your grandmother, your Aunt Lisa. I mean, anybody can win the league. The best way to handle your ego is just come back next year and get them then. Well, I had a close one last year, Melanie, where a girl almost beat me in the league, and she picked based on how good-looking the players were. Does it surprise you that you would pick Tom Brady as her quarterback? Well, Tom Brady's very good looking and he's one of the top players. Another guy, Eric Decker, great looking. I'm sure he put up big numbers for her. You know what? That's not a bad strategy. I, I compare it a lot to like a March Madness bracket. Some people pick those by like the colors that they like or the mascots. Fantasy football, I'd say, would be a little bit harder to win that way. Um, but you never know. You can always get lucky. And that's pretty funny that she almost beat you with those picks. <laughs> Well, another part of it is how bad I pick my teams. I should just mirror what you choose. But why do you say, I've heard you say it a couple of times, it's important to get the spouse or the partner involved in a relationship in the game as well? I think it's important because healthy competition is always important in every relationship. So it's a great way for, you know, on a Sunday afternoon, I think women get tired of their men sitting in front of the TV all day and, and watching football and updating their rosters. And they're like, what are you doing? We want to get involved in this. Um, so it's fun now because women are getting involved and they're competing and they're beating some of the men. And it's just a fun way, even if women, you know, even if women and men don't compete in the same league together. Um, I was in an all girls league last season where, you know, on Sundays I did my own thing with my girlfriends and my guy did his own thing with his guy friends. Then we came back at the end of the day and kind of compared notes and, and talked about the games. And it's just kind of a great way to have your own thing going on, whether you're competing against each other or in separate leagues. It's, it's kind of fun to be able to talk about it and, and watch teams you wouldn't normally watch and keep up with players that you wouldn't normally keep up with. Well, Yahoo Sports is definitely the place to go for fantasy football, and we want to thank you for some of your insights today. But, Melanie, talk to us guys about going home today and what's the conversation look like to say, honey... I want you to be in fantasy football with me. You should absolutely do it. We Yahoo Fantasy Sports, uh, we've been the leader in fantasy sports for over 15 years. Um, and one of the easiest things this season is, or one of the best things, is that we now have a mobile drafting option with our fantasy football app, which means you never have to leave your cell phone. You can draft a team from your phone. You can manage your team from your phone all season long. You can complete an entire fantasy football season from your mobile device. Um, and when a guy goes home and tells his girlfriend about it, just tell her how much fun it is and how competitive it is and how easy it is to sign up. You can just go to fantasysports.yahoo.com. You can join a league that's already been created, or you can create your own league. Then you send out invites to all your friends and family or whoever you want to, uh, to be in the league with you. And then we have all the notes you need on there, mock drafts, rankings, tutorials. We have a great fantasy football live show every Thursday and Sunday that they can tune into to get tips on sleeper picks, on uh, injury reports, really anything you need. It's all there on Yahoo Sports, and it's so easy. Well, you made that easy on us, guys. I'm going to try it tonight. But, Melanie, let's find out who would you pick on your fantasy team and why? Sure. Well, I would just start I would start by saying definitely go with a running back first. So if I had the first overall pick, I'd start with an Adrian Peterson. Um, the guy put up 2,097 yards last season, and no running back has ever come back a following season and put up more than 1,500 yards. If anybody can do it, I think it's Adrian Peterson. I think he's going to have a huge season. So I would say definitely start with one of those top-tier running backs, whether it's Peterson or Arian Foster, maybe Marshawn Lynch or a C.J. Spiller. Um, any of those guys are going to be a great top pick. And then I would say wait a little bit on a quarterback back to the second or third round there's so much talent at the quarterback position that you're going to end up with somebody great I think Michael Vick is a great sleeper quarterback he's been injured the last couple seasons but he is back in Philly taking on a leadership role in that Chip Kelly offense which is up tempo high powered he's the perfect fit at quarterback for that offense and as long as he can stay healthy he's going to put up some big numbers oh great insights I've taken the notes hopefully my girl's not watching this so I can pick them one two Thanks so much, Melanie, and all the best at Yahoo Sports. We look forward to tuning in. Thank you.